Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is gonna be a haul. And it's not just any haul, it's a cool haul. Okay, okay, this is everything that I received from the Creators and Friends Influencer Retreat that happened this month. I am so excited to share everything that these brands sent along. There are some really cool products in here. And also just to talk to you a little bit about the creators and friends trip that you might have seen on social media because I was actually co-host and planner, founder, whatever you want to say, of this creators and friends retreat. So I have some things that I want to share with you about planning the experience, what it was like, why I didn't go, but also the brands that helped make the first creators and friends retreat a, such a success. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul. All right, I'm gonna put this giant box down. I do start my videos with an outfit of the day and my dog Aries is here on her chair so she can film with us. So she's so excited to be here. I'm very wearing a very YouTuber-esque outfit. I just have on some some shorts uh, that I got from Target here and then like a nice top so I, so I can trick you into thinking I have a full cute outfit on, but I don't. Um, I will link anything that I can in my description box, as always, including any of the makeup that I am wearing. I actually did some filming that I'm sure I'll put up on YouTube shorts. So before I jump into the haul, which has some really, like I said, really exciting products, I just want to very briefly go over what it, the creators and friends trip was. <laughs> um, there has been some vlogs that have gone up. I will link any of the vlogs in my description box as well. Or there's some like try to get ready with me where other creators have talked about this experience. So I will have all of those linked down below. But essentially, in a nutshell, uh, last year, my friend Simbri and I decided that we wanted to work together to create something that we felt was missing in the beauty community. We see brand trips frequently. We've seen them for years um, and we've seen you know, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, extravagant, luxurious brand trips happening. They always look so exciting and they seem like such amazing opportunities. And we thought, why can't we create something like that? But something that is more really focused on the creators, the community and the connection. Last year we started planning this just for fun. Um, we just put our heads together and thought, what is it that we can do? And we had a bunch of our friends who are also creators come along on this uh, first experience with us. We sent out a lot of surveys of, does this even interest you? Would you even want to go to something like this? Uh, what would you want to do? Where do you want to go? When do you want to go? How many nights do you want to go? I mean, we were really, it was a very collaborative effort amongst a lot of the creators that went, including, you know, Simbri and myself. But essentially we put together what we were calling like an influencer retreat and it took place in Charleston, South Carolina in May. And it was three nights and we actually had 20 uh, content creators attend and again this started out as kind of a small idea of like let's just do a girls trip somewhere and then the more Simbri and I would talk to each other and have our meetings we just wanted to keep seeing what it is that we could do and what it is that we could accomplish um, so we decided to see if any brands wanted to join on with us as well um, and do any sort of sponsorships with us and we actually had some amazing brands come on and obviously you will see them in the hall today uh, but we were able to put together some really cool things things for the creators and make it an even more elevated experience. Uh, in the beginning, we did have all of the creators pay for their portion of the house. We found a really cool Airbnb in Charleston that had basically like four different, almost kind of like townhomes within this one house. Um, so we were able to let people have kind of their own space if they needed to be, but there was common areas if people wanted to get together. All of the creators paid their own way um, for the house. And then we were actually able to secure a sponsorship with BK Beauty, which had me so, so excited. And because we brought on them as a brand, I was actually able to refund all the creators for their portion of the house. We were able to work with BK Beauty on decor. We had balloons and really beautiful flowers. We had an amazing setup when all of the creators came in with personalized items for them. And we just wanted to make it feel really special and exciting for each creator that was going and just make it a really fun experience for them. And working with BK Beauty, you know, I consider myself friends with Lisa J, Lisa J Makeup, and uh, it was so much fun doing so much planning with them and they were really excited to come on board and it felt like such a fun and 
right fit to work with them since they are a creator fund brand and really this trip was not supposed to be like a traditional brand trip where we just have one brand um, or where we even have contracts or deliverables no content creators had any deliverables there was no contracts between any of them everything that you saw posted from that trip was 100 percent organic and up to the creator they had they didn't have to post anything at all <laughs> and they were under no obligations to do so um so again partnering with bk beauty just felt so right and it was really such a good experience uh working with them and making this as special and fun as we could so um, again all of the content creators did pay for their own transportation whether they flew to charleston or if they drove um, but they did not have to pay for the house, which is really exciting because it was a big expense. And, you know, some people in the beginning couldn't make the trip because they weren't able to afford everything. And um, that's something that obviously is very understandable. There's been a lot of trips I wasn't able to take, especially when I was first starting out, like a Gen Beauty or an Ipsy. Not only could I not afford a ticket to go to those places, I couldn't afford a hotel room in New York City, I couldn't afford flights from Iowa. So it felt really nice when we could start to bring in the sponsorships to kind of help relax some of the like budgeting demands and things like that for creators. And again, still giving them a really good experience without being under contract to perform, make content, hit a certain thing here or there, um, and just have it be a fun, organic community focused trip that they were on. We were also able to bring on a couple other sponsors like ColourPop and Unearthly Cosmetics, which we were really excited for. And they did some really fun activities. So Unearthly Cosmetics, which is an indie brand, the owner Amanda was so great to work with. Aries agrees, loved her. Um, but we actually put together a brunch. So this was a catered brunch that was done at the Airbnb. And during that time, uh, we had set up the products that Unearthly had sent along. So you'll be seeing those in the hall. And the girls, from the feedback that I heard, um, you know, everyone just had a good time because it was very relaxed. There wasn't, again, there wasn't anything that they had to be doing. They were just taking in the product. A lot of the creators had not tried Unearthly Cosmetics yet, so they were very excited to see everything, and they sent along some amazing products. And about a week later, uh, Heather Austin, who was on the trip, did announce that she's doing a collaboration with Unearthly, which I believe is out May 25th. So it's very exciting and a huge congratulations to Heather. And it just felt really cool, too, that so many creators then were able to try Unearthly, um, you know, right before Heather's collab and, like, hype it up even more because that's what this is all about is you know, creators just working together, hyping each other up, being there for each other, supporting each other. Um, so again, that felt like a really cool fit. And then ColourPop, you know, so many of us love ColourPop and they had the idea to do a masterclass. So they actually brought in a makeup artist in the Charleston area who did a masterclass. They sent along a bunch of products that you'll see. Um, and the setup was so, so beautiful for this as well. Um, Simbri did such a great job since they did have to bow out at last, very last minute. Um, and I could not make the trip myself. Like Simbri and every other creator who was there who stepped up in my absence. I mean, they just made everything look so beautiful, so aesthetic and so professional like all of the photos i kept looking at i just kept thinking like we did this like we, like our vision really came true which was just so incredible so it was really fun to be able to put on those events as well we also had some dinners planned um, and some activities we had a white elephant game that it seemed like everybody really enjoyed with like a gift exchange um, there was a karaoke night one night we had beach rentals at folly beach where the creators could go and enjoy some beach time. Obviously, Charleston is super beautiful. I know a lot of people went to the Rainbow Row and there was shopping and good cafes around. One of the dinners that we had, BK Beauty, actually did come in for that. So Lisa J and uh, some of their social media team came in to meet the creators and talk to them. And I thought that was so, so special. I was really sad that I missed that. Um, but that was really special to be able to bring in, you know, our main sponsor to be able to meet all of these other creators. Um, there's something really unique and fun about being able to meet each other in person because a lot of us don't get to have that. That's why I always tried so hard to get to those Generation Beauties or those Ipsy events um, because the in-person connections that you can make are just so invaluable and so special. 
and I was really excited that we were able to make that happen with BK Beauty as well. And then we were able to bring on a few other sponsors like Sigma Beauty, Ofra Cosmetics, Undefined Beauty, Garnier, and they sent along some products for goodie bags. So we had goodie bags for the creators. You know, we had some products there like skincare and brushes so they didn't have to bring a lot with them. Um, obviously, you know, we do, you know, get a lot of PR, but then, you know, hopefully they can do giveaways and pass along some of their products to their audience and, and all of that. Um, so it just was a really special experience and I'm really, really proud of how it went. So that's a little bit about Creators and Friends and why Simbri and I wanted to plan it and why I've been putting so much work into it the past year. Um, the reason I did not go, if you have been following my channel in the last couple of weeks or so, you probably already know, but unfortunately it was less than 48 hours before I was supposed to get on the plane to Charleston that my beautiful dog behind me um, I learned that she has cancer. So, um, and when I was initially told, they were telling me I had days with her. So there was just no way that I could go in case that actually did happen. Um, there was no way I could leave her with someone else and put that on someone else as well. And I just mentally was distraught. <laughs> um, I'm still having a hard time with it, but I'm really trying my best. I just, I was so crushed that I couldn't make this trip because I put so much into it. Like I said, Simbri and I did this for fun in hopes that it would work out. I know, boo boo. Um, we just did it for fun, hoping it would work out. We didn't get paid for it. The creators weren't paid to be there. Um, Simbri and I ended up putting our own money towards it because it was, you know, just a learning experience for us. We didn't think about some administrative things or like, Oh, we have a lot of products coming to us. How are we getting all of those there? And having a shipping receiver in Charleston, all of the Ubers and, and, and different things like that. So we actually ended up putting our own money towards it, um, which was fine. Now we just know for next time. Um, but truly, like I had so much fun planning this. I love event planning. And to not be able to see it go down in person was really, really painful, but obviously not more painful than... <laughs> than what, what was happening at home. So I'm just, I'm really thankful to Simbri for handling everything. She was my fourth phone call that I made after getting the news outside of my family because I, it was Friday and I'm supposed to be leaving on Sunday. The event starts on Monday. Like, what am I supposed to do? Um, and again, just another huge thank you. I know there were so many creators that helped Simbri so much and the setup and the takedown and all of that. And I'm just, really grateful to everyone. They sent me a really sweet video the first night of everyone saying how they missed me and loved me and it really meant a lot because I was just very sad that I couldn't attend and see it in person and be able to see some of my friends again and hopefully make new friends but Simbri and I are planning not only a second one but also a third one to happen in 2024. Um, so we will be doing New Orleans uh, in the spring of 2024 so we are already hard at work planning that and I'm just really excited to see where we can take this and hopefully just continue to make them a, a fun and positive and supportive I don't even know what word I want to say event thing isn't a very uh, eloquent word but we just want to be able to help form those connections and again those friendships within the community that's why we decided to call it creators and friends and that's what it's all about like i said creators community connections like that's what we wanted to do and um i thought it was really special to to do it not only for the creators but for the brands that came on because i can't imagine what it costs to put on a brand trip and this way especially for like the indie brands that worked with us um it to me, it's a smaller cost than putting together a whole brand trip yourself or sometimes even putting on like a launch party or even just sending out PR that gets very expensive and shipping gets expensive. Um, and again, none of the creators were paid to be there. It had contracts deliverables, but it was such a fun experience that, you know, people were posting about it and the brands were getting um, recognition and support as well. And it just all felt, it just all felt so right. So that's a little bit about creators and friends and why I didn't go even though I planned it. And I'm really excited for the next one in New Orleans. So thank you so much for listening to that. I, I am trying to put a vlog together from everyone else's footage. 
I'm trying to do my best to like piece it together, but it's the most strange travel vlog since I'm not in it at all with like my commentary and my voiceover. So I'm trying my best, but I really wanted to come on to make a video about it because I'm so proud of this event. I'm so proud of how it went down. And I talked to, um, you know, the others who went on the trip. The one thing I kept hearing over and over again was how there was no drama, no drama, no drama. And you'd think 20 women under one roof, like that, that could be tough. That could be tough, but everyone was just so excited to be there, meet each other, make the connections, have fun. Like, I really hope that this is something special for the community. I really hope Simbri and I are onto something here, and I think that we are. But to jump into my actual haul portion, I'm seeing, I, like I started seeing everyone posting about these and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get mine because look at these mugs. So we're gonna start off with a BK Beauty and this is amazing. So it's kind of like, it's similar to like a Stanley, one of the Stanley cups that I know everyone is raving about, but it has um, the BK Beauty quote on the back, kindness is the ultimate beauty hack. And then our names are also on them and it's in the BK Beauty colors. Since I got my box that Simbri very kindly shipped to me with all of the products in it, this has not left my hand. I live in Las Vegas. It's 100 degrees in May. I go on a lot of walks and this always goes with this. It's just everywhere with me. I freaking love this cup so much. Um, I think it's fantastic. And again, if you're following any of the creators, which also I will link all of them down below as well, I'll put all their Instagrams down there too you've been seeing that mug on your feet for sure. When the creators got to their rooms, these were kind of like set up for them. So we also had a koozie with the BK Beauty, uh, Being Kind is Beautiful and the logo on here. And then we had the tote bag as well. We had a hat, which I've already worn. If you can see like a little, little, little makeup there. I love hats, wear hats all the time. Again, live in the desert, it's very warm, sunshine everywhere, love me some hats. And I love a good, I, I know I shouldn't love a white hat because I wear makeup, but like, I love a white hat. I just think it looks like so chic. This also, I'm so excited about. It might sound funny, but this is a towel. But it also does have our names on it as well. So it was personalized because again, we did have that beach day set up at Folly Beach. So you could bring the towels if you wanted to. But I love this because I do have a pool at the apartment complex that I live in, but they don't provide towels. And sometimes I forget my towel or like someone steals my towel. Well, you can't steal my towel now. It's got my name on it, so haha. <laughs> and then we also got these beautiful sweaters from BK Beauty and it has the BK logo right here. These are so comfortable. I love that I requested a size small and it's still a little bit larger on me too, which I do enjoy that. I love the color. I think that it is so beautiful, but I just love a good, what are these called? Like the crew neck sweaters. I love a good crew neck sweater, especially like at night when I just need a little something on, even with my shorts. Oh, I have the sweater. BK Beauty did also make sure to send along their brushes. I mean, they have fantastic brushes. This is the bronzer brush that I use today that I love so much. The 103, yes, the 103. I love the, do I have my powder brush nearby? Yes, my powder brush, the 105. This is what I use with all of my powder, like my Dior powder, no powder. I've been loving the Lawless recently. So I've been using this one. They have great eye brushes. The, what is the A? The A503, I want to say, the Angie Hot and Flashy uh, collab with the concealer. That's one of my favorite concealer brushes. They also sent along the collaboration with Risa Does Makeup and their lashes. They sent along their lip products. I mean, BK Beauty really hooked it up makeup-wise as well, um, which I just thought was so fantastic. And again, they were just, they were amazing to work with. I do have a non-affiliate discount code with uh, BK Beauty, it is just Samantha 10, so that will get you a 10% offline. Highly, highly recommend their products. And then, like I said, we had that brunch that was uh, sponsored by Unearthly. So I am so excited to unbox this because I've been waiting to do this video. And then I'm so excited to try the brand because I am one of those that had not tried Unearthly Cosmetics yet. But I'm excited to. And this is the palette that I've been seeing everywhere. This is the Don't Be Jelly Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. Look at this stunning palette. How cool is this? And I loved when I saw it. 
I see some greens, I see some purples, which I enjoy so much. So I am super thrilled to try this one out. Also, of course, the Heather Austin collab, I cannot wait for that one. But this I just think looks so stunning and I've been seeing the other creators who have had this for a little bit longer than me, um, like posting looks with it and everything and swatches and it just looks so, so stunning. So I cannot wait to dig into this from Unearthly Cosmetics. Oh, they sent along four of their highlighter singles. So one here is in Mirage. And then I have another one here in Twilight. The other two are shattered. I'm gonna see if I can press them back together, but these, <laughs> this poor thing, had to go from, I believe it was Florida to Charleston, to Charleston to Las Vegas. So I still have two of the highlighters that I can try out. Two satin uh, liquid lipsticks and then also a lip gloss. Okay, I was seeing people post with these because look, can you see how fun? The packaging is like it's like a I want to say a snow globe <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly correct but how cool is that packaging and then we have the lip products inside here so I do also want to do a get ready with me kind of talking a little bit more in depth about the trip I tried to go pretty quickly through the beginning I don't know how quickly I did but I'd love to do like an even in like a more in-depth chat as well or if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments here and i can always answer them when i am doing the videos um but i would love to do a get ready with me with some of the products that i received but that is what unearthly cosmetics sent all right and then we had ColourPop. so this was really cool because they sent along mirrors for everybody and i love me a good travel mirror i do also love me a good mirror that lights up so i think that's fantastic i actually do still have this one in the box because I do have a lighted mirror for myself so I do want to be doing a little giveaway as well and this is going to be going into my giveaway box so um, I don't have the giveaway planned out yet um, so I'm thinking maybe in my get ready with me is when I will have like the giveaway box ready with everything so if you're not subscribed make sure that you're subscribed follow me on the gram March beauty word but it was really cute how these were set up because we had like some color pop stickers on and these as well and just everything was like set up so beautifully but very cool because these mirrors these are these are hot like the mirror that I have is from Amazon and I can see my affiliate reports like so many people have bought that mirror I try to do like weekly bestseller posts and that my LED mirror has been in there for weeks and weeks and weeks. A couple other products are from ColourPop. They sent along the Bare Necessities palette and also their Heavy Petal palette. And then we had a little bag like this and it had our names in each one too. Um, and this all went along with the masterclass. So we have a little puff in here. And then we were able to fill out a survey with ColourPop so they could color match to everybody. So that's why, you know, they were in their individualized bags because they sent along they sent along their no filter setting powder. We do also have their uh, pretty fresh hydrating foundation. Also their tinted moisturizer, their feather effect brow pen, um, the pretty fresh concealer. I also had a highlight. I have mine in lunch money, which is so great. And then this is super shock, super shock shadow. This one here is in Ritz, which is such a beautiful shade. But it was really exciting to bring on ColourPop. They were one of our last sponsors that we got for the trip. And Simber and I were looking at each other like, okay, this is really exciting. And we were hoping all the girls would be excited to be able to work with them as well. Um, I know ColourPop gave out some affiliate codes for the creators on the trip, which is also a really big deal. My code with them is March Beauty, but that masterclass looked like so much fun. We had some skincare products from Undefined Beauty, so I've never tried this brand either, so I'm excited to test them out. So this one here is their R&R cleanser. I love me a good cleanser and this looks like a big old cleanser. Um, this is their a detoxifying and brightening cleanser. And then we also have their R&R hydro jelly. This is for hydrating, firming, and replenishing. Ooh, okay. This says plant wisdom meets powerful actives to reset and replenish your skin barrier. Can't wait. And then we, oh. Then we have the R&R Sun Serum Broad Spectrum Tinted SPF 50. <laughs> well, I love a good SPF, so I'm very excited to dig into this one. Again, it's 100 degrees. 
Okay, oh, one more product that we got from them. I've been seeing a lot of the girls use this too. This is their Night Serum. All right, so this says plant, plant Wisdom. It means powerful actives to reset and replenish your skin barrier. Oh, I can't wait. I'm very excited to try that. I feel like that was the product that I've been seeing be used the most. And then we were also able to bring on Sigma Beauty and they sent along a nice little package to everybody as well, which was so, so nice. So let me dig into this one. Oh my gosh. You guys know Sigma Beauty is one of my favorite brands and I was so excited to bring them on board because I just feel like they deserve, I just feel like they deserve so much love. Um, so I'm excited. They just came out with these cream blushes. So we have some cream blushes. I'm actually filming a favorites video. It's my, it's my April favorites that I know I'm filming in the last part of May, but again, my May was a little bit <laughs> poof. So I'm still wanting to film that one and you will see the Sigma cream blush in there because I think that they are beautiful. These are some of my absolute favorite products. They're lip oils. I talk about these all the time. I've been wearing my lip oil so much. I think that it's so fabulous for the summer. Um, they sent along also a brow gel, Sigmagic, the Sigmagic scrub to clean your brushes. Sigma has some great tools to be cleaning your brushes, okay? And spoiler alert, this is another one that's in my favorites video, but it is the Sigma Switch. So it's an instant shade remover. So if you, like I got really behind on just life in general, but also cleaning my makeup brushes. I've been using my Sigma Switch so much. It's not new to me, but I still, when I was planning my favorites video, I was like, I need to put it in there because I've just been relying on it so much. You can just easily get the pigment off and then go into your next shade. So deep clean your brushes and all of that. But this is such a nice product and especially when you're traveling i feel like it is so so key like you don't need to bring a ton of brushes just bring your sigma switch and clean off your brushes and it's going to be great and then they did also send along is this the new mod mini palette one of my favorites so i love this and it, this has made me really excited too because um you know sigma beauty reached out to some of the creators who aren't on there PR list or on their affiliate team and they were giving codes and, and just sending PR and I just I felt like this was a really cool opportunity because we were really focused on bringing our friends together and then like friends of our friends and making the community that way like we're not looking at people's numbers we're not looking to see how many followers you have that's not the point of this trip the trip is to just bring people together but in doing so i felt like there was some some more opportunities there and i know from what i heard from a lot of the creators was how excited they were to receive a product from sigma beauty it's a gorgeous brand i recommend their products so so much so happy that we can work with them too. All right, and then lastly, I have some products from Ofra Cosmetics, and we did send along a few different products because I have collabed with them. So we sent along some of my collab items, which I just grabbed out my own from my collection, um, including the Start Inspired Highlighter. Ooh, ooh, love my Start Inspired. Also the Chiclet Blush Duo. One of my favorite blush duos for sure. Um, also my eyeshadow palette, the Life's a Draft palette. This palette is so special to me. It was my first eyeshadow palette that I did. We also have some face shades that you can wear on your eyes as well. So that was very exciting. Where are my glosses? We have my set of three glosses, and these glosses are really special to me. We have more of a pink one, which is in Peony. Um, Millie, the middle shade, is that white pearly gloss, and it was named after my grandmother, who loved her pearls. So I do love my Millie gloss. And then we also have Queen, which I have one right here as well this is the queen gloss and it was actually named after aries behind me here so this gloss is very very special and i've been seeing so many comments of people saying that you either purchased the gloss or you've been wearing it so much in honor of aries and the fight that she was going through and we both just really appreciate that so um you can get all of the glosses separately or you can also purchase the trio on the ofra website um, they did also send along their perfecting puff this is one of my favorites i have so many of those and i think that they're great uh, we also do have the uh doo -doo -doo, what is the proper name of this their hd volumizing mascara and then these are a little bit newer but this is the tinseltown spark lights topper set these are really cool so these are just like really sparkly topper shades and they are oh, beautiful if i don't put my finger in it i think my sister ordered these when they came out because she always loves anything like literally gl literally 
glittery or sparkly so i always try to send her anything that just like sparkles a ton and when she saw these she was like oh my gosh yes need these so those are so much fun and then we also had a little bag of skincare which again is just really nice to be able to have like on a trip and when you are traveling there's the foaming vitamin c cleanser the micro glow cleanser revitalizing clay mask and then also in here is their revitalizing toner and then this one here is the peptide silk c serum so a few skincare products in here from Ofra Cosmetics, including some of my collab products. I do have an affiliate code with them as well, which is Samantha, if you're interested in grabbing any of the products that they sent along or anything on their site or any of my collab products. But that's, that's everything. So again, I felt like that was a pretty cool haul. Um, a little bit different, but I just wanted to share everything that we were able to receive on the trip from the makeup to some of the swag products and just share about what Creators and Friends was and to also say stay tuned because Simbri and I are going to keep on working to not only do these retreats, but to maybe also do even more events for the beauty community and just make sure that we continue to have that sense of community and connection um, amongst the creators. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, again, if you have any questions on creators and friends, leave them in the comments because I will be doing a try to get ready with me as well. And I'm just really excited. The event came together so well, super, super crushed that I missed it. I'm just the reality of life right now, but you know, we're doing the best that we can. And I appreciate all of your support and your love and your thoughts for Aries so, so much. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. I'll see you in my next one.